bull should be into his hand, and one into Lemmy's hand of this caliber should be uh, gangbuster. Welcome back, champ. Lemmy on his way to perhaps the top of the leaderboard. You called it, partner. You figured it'd be a match made in heaven. Let me follow through for you. Let's see what the judges think. He needs 88 and a quarter. Drum roll, 91. Well, and if he's, if he's got a broke ankle and it hurts so much, why has he got to use it like that on my bull? <laughs> <laughs> This is just showing off right here, and that's what bull riding's about, is to show everybody I'm better than you are, and I can ride any bull they run under me. And Jose Lemmy is that guy. He's world class, and right there is why he's your world champion. We're in the sixth event of the season. You know, McBride or something like that, and that wasn't that big a score. So. Say he's got it. Say hello to your new Fort Worth number one. The judges being quite contemplative. 94 and three quarters. And I was going to say, I don't think it's going to quite be 95, but 94 and three quarters is spectacular. That just, as a bull rider, Sitting here in this chair, I, the, <laughs> the hair on my arms and the back of my neck just stand up because I know what this feels like. To be tapped off on a rank bull, you don't know if you're going to make the whistle the next jump. Whoop, wait a minute. I think Jose knew he was going to be there the next jump. You know who else knew he was going to be there? Shorty Gorham, you were grinning from ear to ear that out. Well, I got to tell you, Craig, when coming around that first quarter, he had Jose beat so bad, I didn't think there was any way for Jose to get back in the middle. What's he do? He just opens up and drives that outside leg into him, gets right back to the middle. I'll tell you what, when you ride with that kind of aggression, uh, I'm going to call it right now, guys. That guy can stay healthy. There's your 2021 <laughs> world champion. Jose, you know what it's like to be in the winner's circle, but this time, your first winning as a new dad. Your new son, Theodoro, your wife, Amanda, watching at home. How special is this one? This is amazing. It's my, my first event officially this year, so I'm just so happy because I stay out about 40 days, and now I come and recovery, and I feel strong again and confident for, for this season. I just thank God about this, all this on my life. I'm very happy. And let's talk about that timeout because you were recovering from that broken ankle and you come right back and put up two of the biggest scores we saw all weekend in championship form. How do you do it? Well, uh, I'm not supposed to be here today because the doctor is expect, expected I am uh, stay out for longer, but I work so hard, I'm training at my house and before I come here today and i just so happy stay, uh, to be here today with the fans again, this is amazing. I know the season is young, but the road to that second world championship starts right here. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, Joseph Itorlemi, not the first bull rider to disobey doctor's orders and it results in a whopping weekend as Lemmy wasn't even on the world standings charts and in two days he has moved back into the top 10.